Hey guys, Pirata here. Um, I am one of the devs from Bruce and the creator of this guy here, uh, Launcher. Uh, that's people usually use it on Carputer, and it's becoming uh, very most used in the Lilygo devices. And I'm here today to talk about uh, Bruce radio frequency and sub gigahertz. Uh, but first of all, I need to make some uh, to speak about some guys that are really helping me. Uh, and first of all, I want to thank uh, Jeremiah, right, and open source SDR Labs for giving me this awesome piece of hardware, right? Uh, this is a Hack RF uh, port pack Mayhem H4. Uh, M right. This is a really nice piece of hardware, and I will use it today to show you uh, Bruce receiving and sending signals with radio frequency, right? But before we start, right, you can hit the subscribe button right down below and uh, follow these guys too. So let's see here. Uh, this is Jeremiah, right? This guy is helping me a lot. So he have a lot of videos, very nice content about uh, Flipper Zeros and uh, Hacker F and other nice hardware. So this is the guy to follow. And uh, I want to thank Open Source SDR Labs that sent me this uh, port pack through Jeremiah, so Jeremiah shipped me it, so thank you very much. And uh, if you want to help me, right, you can always get into my uh, sponsorship website. You can come here and buy me a coffee and help me with uh, whatever you want, right? And well, let's get into it, right? Uh, let's change cameras. Here we have. Well, here in hands I have the Team Bad CC11 one from Lilygo, right? This is uh, such a nice device, and it's running Bruce. It's not running the 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 actual version of Bruce is one point nine point. Uh, 1.9.1 but in this video I'll be covering what's coming in the next version and yes you heard it well what is coming in the next version of Bruce so this is uh, the build um, um, the, the, the last comet I'm testing now and we'll talk about it uh, and I will use my one <laughs> simple controller here to see how, how things happen and let's start here capture and this is the guy who will tell us if things are coming right let's go uh, radio frequency here uh, this guy have uh, a CC1101 chip so it will um, detect the signals and emit the signals with the antenna it has here inside. Uh, in radio frequency sub gigahertz we have scan copy, right? And here you can copy the signals. It has two modes that are important. The decode mode, so it is decoding the, co the, the signal and this is the value of the signal. So the key is 09044D15. Okay, this is the key. But sometimes there are a few, there are uh, some controllers that can't be decoded. So it will save in a raw mode. So you just rotate. If you're using uh, M5 stick, you will move it by clicking in the next button. That is this button over here, right? Uh, let me charge it a little bit. But the thing is, let's get back here. After I get the signal, I have here replay, right? So I can just replay 
the signal and you can see that it will send the key of the signal again so options replay and we get received there or replay as raw because sometimes uh, when it decodes it can uh, there's a possibility of it decoding it wrongly so you can replay as raw and it will send the timings that were captured here so let's go and this is what he sent so you can here save the signal if you hit it here and you have an SD card it will save in the SD card if you don't have an SD card it will save in the internal memory which is slightly very smaller but you can save it save signal will save the key signal and save as raw it will save the timings that are emitted here from the the, the controller okay uh, reset signal it will delete everything range uh, let's say that your controller you doesn't know what is the frequency so you can come here and put all ranges and try to detect which frequency it's working or let's say that you know that your controller is uh, 350 315 megahertz so you can just select or choose the frequency you want to work so there's a lot of frequency ranges here frequency settings that you can uh, choose okay uh, this is the scan copy function after that we have record raw recording raw signals is like flipper zero does right so you can record the signals like this and replay the signals look this is what it does and as I said too it will it you can save the um, the raw signals it will save into a big string that in, in, in the file that uh, you can retrieve it so I just save it and let's say record another signal fix it and let's go one two one two and replay sometimes yeah it worked one two three four four signals we sent here and received it there so things works like this right uh, let's go let's cover first here spectrum okay in spectrum you just have uh, a visualization of the signal it's more like to see if it's receiving something on this frequency right it's quite quite limited and uh, there is another option here that will be the square wave spectrum square wave spectrum will draw the square wave signal that is being received so the these are the different timings that are coming so the the modulation makes like these signals and this signal is transformed into bits and bytes and is that is recognized by the devices that work with these frequencies so this is the idea is just to, to to have a look over this uh, what else we can say we have uh, these jammers right this jam jamming is a crime in every country so it this is for testing purpose only right and by jamming it will dirt all the signal here so things will start working with radio frequency and we have uh, the full jammer that will send a full square signal that will work like that okay 
this is this is the thing and these signals get scrambled there so it won't be detected by the devices nearby okay this is the idea and finally we have a way to send sub gigahertz signals and by sending these signals for example i have you ha i have here sd card and the raw zero that is the signal that i saved just before so let's go sending one two three that are the three clicks i gave into the 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 signal right this sen this sending i can do too by let's come here from files right we ca i can come from files sd card find my sub gigahertz file so let's say that you download the uh, a list of dot sub files so you can just come into the folder and try to send it sub, sub gigahertz transmit dx and it will send there so one two three uh, and yes and this is for today right uh, this is the team pad that I am using to, to to do the testings but it will work too on the um, uh, stick C plus right so here I have the one of the first prototypes of the board that I shared using the shared SPI so uh, module right and here I have let's say radio frequency scan copy and capturing signals let's save it it will s it will save the signal on the little FS and after saving it I can uh, send the signals so this is this is the guy and this board we'll talk later and when I'll talk about this board I will be talking to you about this other guy here this other guy is this Smoochie board right this board is made by uh, designed by Smoochie and we programmed Bruce over it so everything works fine and let's see for example NRF24 this is the guy working here right and this is the thing so this is a topic for the next video uh, if you get into the end of this video again uh, these features are from uh, these, vi th these features are available, will be available in the next uh, update of Bruce. So now, today, we are on 1.9.1, and on the next version, I don't know if it will be 1.10 or 1.9.2, we didn't, we haven't decided yet, right? But uh, it will be released for you with some other features that are inside that I will show you in another video. So please subscribe and follow Jeremiah because he's a very nice guy and talk to you later. Goodbye Sharkies!